Hi guys, it's Izzy and sorry that this video isn't up on my usual upload day, it's not up on a Wednesday, it's actually up on a Thursday because today, as you're watching this, the 14th of January, it is my 18th birthday. Woo! Oh, hang on, I've got a little bit of a celebration thing to do. Woo! That might have completely missed and you didn't see that on camera at all. But I promise you, I just popped it, so. So, this is probably going to be like a really deep video. <laughs> Maybe not. There's a mixture between deep and just silly things. So, I just hope you enjoy learning from my life lessons. So, let's get started with the first one. My first thing I have learnt in 18 years. Oh my god, that's so old. Uh -huh. So the first thing that I've learned in 18 years is that 18 year olds are actually like really, really young. I remember being about 10 and looking up to 18 year olds and being like, wow, they're so old and so wise and so mature. But now that I'm actually 18, I'm like, huh, I don't really know that much. I don't know how mortgage works. I don't know how to pay water bills. Like what? I'm, I'm supposed to be responsible, but I don't know anything. And it's actually crazy to think that now I am an adult with adult responsibilities. Uh, the second thing I've learned is something that I've learned as being someone who's quite small and quite quiet and shy. It's that if you don't make people listen to you, they're not going to listen to you and they're just going to ignore you. And I can't be the only one that whenever they feel ignored, they just feel like shouting this. Sorry, I couldn't resist putting a little jam session into this video. But yeah, so basically I've learned that if you don't basically force people to listen to you, a lot of the time they will just try to ignore you, so you've got to make your opinion heard. So the third thing I've learned is something that really blew my mind. It's the fact that 12am comes before 11am. The fourth thing I learned is another thing that really blew my mind. It's the fact that compliment has two different spellings. Firstly, right, I'm gonna teach you all something here if you didn't already know this, a lot of you probably knew this, but I only found out the other day and I wish I knew this earlier, okay? So the first way of spelling it is compliment, which is, you know, like, you're giving someone a compliment, e.g., you look very nice today. The second way of spelling compliment is when something is complimenting something else, e.g., that eyeshadow really complements your eye colour. The fifth thing is something that I feel is like really, really important to know, especially like as a girl, because I'm not saying boys don't do this to each other, but I feel like it's a lot more like prominent in the girl life. But what I have learned is that once you stop judging other people, you will feel so much happier. So for example, if I see someone with an outfit that I particularly wouldn't wear, I'm still like, you know what, fair play. They are owning that outfit and I am just feel so much happier now that I'm not like, oh my God, look at her, look at him. Uh, because then I feel like, well, my opinion doesn't matter to them because my opinion on them just is not important in any way, shape or form. I realise that, hang on, if they're judging me, it doesn't matter anyway. So literally, once you just stop judging people and just accept that everyone's different, you will feel so much better about yourself as well. The sixth thing that I have learnt is that Ed Sheeran writes the most beautiful songs in existence. The next one that I've learnt is kind of a sad one, but it's also not. So basically, just hear me out. So every day that I'm alive, I realise, oh, the world is actually quite a bad place if you think about it. Like, every day that I'm alive, I'm aware of more things and I'm like, oh, that was actually really, really horrible. Like, if you watch the news, you find worse and worse stuff out every single day. But I've also learnt that the more you're alive, the stronger you become every single day. So you become stronger to deal with those bad stuff that happen in your life. So, yeah, I've learnt that even though every single day gets harder, you get stronger as a person. Even if you don't feel like you are getting stronger, you do, and you learn to fight those bad things away in a passive aggressive way because I don't support fighting on my channel. So the next thing I've learned is kind of a bit of a silly one 
just to lighten the mood after that one, the last one. <laughs> but it's basically that squirrels can hold onto buildings vertically. Like they can hold onto them for hours and hours on end. I found that out when a few years ago at school, everyone got into school in the morning and they saw that on the like main block, there were just two squirrels holding on to the building and everyone lost their minds. Every single person in the school lost their minds for the entire day. And all anyone was talking about were these squirrels and they literally at lunchtime and break time, they had to put staff on guard to make sure no one was looking at these squirrels. They had to put cones out to make sure that if the squirrels fell, they wouldn't fall on any pupils and they like blocked off the whole area. And people were there like walking past with umbrellas in case these squirrels fell down on them. And honestly, it was just hilarious to see like everyone lose their minds because there were two squirrels, literally just two squirrels, holding onto a building. <laughs> so yeah, the next thing that I learned is that it's kind of going back to the not judging people one. It's the fact that people really, really don't care as much as you think they do. Like they might say that they do, but it's probably only to get a reaction. Like people just don't care at all. Like I was always worried about like, oh my gosh, if I go out, do these shoes match my jeans? And I was really, really worried about my outfit every time I left the house. And I realized, hang on, I don't go out and realize every single person's outfit who walks past me. And to be honest, people are more concerned about themselves and how they look and how they dress that they don't even have time to notice anyone else. So honestly, people do not care as much as we think that they care. The tenth thing that I have learnt is another quite deep one. But you know what? I thought I'd share it anyway. It is what the meaning of bravery is. In my opinion, being brave doesn't mean that you're not like scared of anything. In my opinion, being brave means that you're like terrified of something but you go and do it anyway because for me that's like takes more courage and bravery than just not being scared of anything. Number 11 is not something that I'm certain I've learnt but I, I'd, I'd like to think I've learnt it and people sometimes tell me I have so you know what, what can I say? Number 11 is basically I think I've learnt how to do winged eyeliner like it took a lot a lot of practice but I think that mm, I think that I've nailed the way that I want to do winged eyeliner. I'm not saying this is the perfect way to do winged eyeliner, but I really like the way that I do my eyeliner now, and I think that was a skill that I had to learn in my 18 years. Number 12 is something that I've learned because I'm quite competitive and I like being right. It's basically that if you only talk when you're right, you are always right. So basically don't state your opinion on a matter you know nothing about because chances are you're going to be made to look silly. So you might as well just, you know, talk and defend yourself when you 100% know that you are right in the situation. Number 13 is, is quite a little cheeky one, so I might have to be a bit hush-hush with this one. But in exams, they can only catch your notes if you write them in English. E.g. don't write like all the like answers to your history paper on your hand. You can write them in little code words, yes? And then when they look at your hands, they're like, oh, that's obviously something not related to the exam. Ha ha ha. Or if you're bilingual, you can just write it in a different language and then they'll never know. But also by saying that, I want to say that if you get kicked out of an exam for following that technique, do not blame me, you know, use at your own risk, ha ha ha. Number 14, and unfortunately this is something that I had to learn the hard way, it's that you always need to put your health before your education. Like nowadays, so many students are on antidepressants, anti-migraine tablets, anti-anxiety medication, because literally they just can't deal with the stress that education puts us under. And I completely understand where that's coming from. I'm exactly the same. I stress out so much over my schoolwork. And honestly, it's not worth it because I think that if I was in like a mentally stable state of mind, you know, that I wasn't stressed out half as much as I am now, I'd be doing so much better on my A-levels anyway. So my advice for school and how to survive it is basically just please make sure you get enough sleep every night and that you eat healthily and you just put your health ahead of your education. Number 15 is basically just my motto in life really. It's don't take yourself too seriously but also don't let other people treat you like a joke. And I think that basically explains itself. Just have fun in life but make sure you stand up for yourself when you feel like you're being 
mistreated and made fun of. Number 16 is another important one. It's quite random, but I feel like it's just been Christmas, so I might as well share it. It's basically when people say, oh, what did you get for Christmas? And then the person tells you, never say, oh, and what else? Because chances are they might not have got anything else. And it's quite awkward if you're like, oh, what else did you get as well? Like, just like out of chattiness. And they're like, oh, I think. Or when that happens to you, it's quite awkward. When you say like all your Christmas presents, they're like, oh, what else did you get? And you're like, nothing. So basically just be aware of how fortunate you are and how unfortunate others may be. And it's not even unfortunate, but basically just try not to make things awkward by expecting that people have more than they have, really. I don't know. Number 17 is something that I agree with so much. It's that only boring people get bored. There is so much out there to do. So please, if you ever feel bored, just try something new because it probably means that you're just like dissatisfied with what you're already doing. So just, you know, try something new because the world has so, 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 so much to offer. And number 18 is that the only thing stopping you is yourself. Like, I think we've all been there where we've had self-doubt and we're like, mm, is this a good idea? But then you do the thing anyway and you're like, wow, if I would have done this much sooner, I would have been much happier. Like, going back to my YouTube channel, for example, I think some of you know that I wanted to do YouTube for about three years before I started it, but I was like, you know what, everyone's going to make fun of me if I do. And literally no one did, which just shows that the only thing stopping me was myself because... No one else could care less, but I could have cared less and just done it. So literally, the only thing stopping yourself is the excuses that you're making. So yeah, there was my quite deep birthday video, because you know, it's my birthday as you're watching this. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope that you've learned something from this video, because I did quite like sharing everything that I've learned. So if you like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up, you know. And also, you could check out my social media accounts, you know, to wish me a happy birthday if you like. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, you guys don't have to do that. But, like, if you're new here and you want to make my day, you know, you can hit that subscribe button because it's my birthday today. So, I hope that you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next Wednesday this time. I know it's a Thursday today and in my last video I was like, see you on Wednesday. But then I posted on Thursday. But next time I will definitely see you on a Wednesday. So bye! Like I talk about these so much across all my social media that Rimmel literally tweeted me and said thank you for the support with our Kate Moss lipstick.